Okay, first, fasten your seatbelt. That was easy. Next, check your mirrors. Why? Do I look bad? No, 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 no. I meant to stop the car. I can't drive in this hideous condition. Ugh. That's better. <sighs> Lesson 12, avoiding road hazards. There's a squirrel in the road. What do you do? <laughs> Use your turn signal. No, that's the brake. No, that's the gas. No, that's my face. This, this is the turn signal. Oh, you mean the blinky blink? The blinky blink? Yeah, it's right by the spinny thingy. The spinny, <gasps> that's the problem. I haven't been speaking Lenny. There's a country named after me? No, I mean I haven't been using words you understand. Let me try again. Use the blinky blink. Good, now turn left. I mean, uh, turn to your good side. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey crew, we're gonna need some new car parts. This is a brake pedal. What does the brake pedal do? White shoes after Labor Day. Ew, stop. Exactly. I guess you won't be needing this. <laughs> this is the gas pedal. What does the gas pedal do? Boots from the 60s. Go, go! Yes! Lenny, I think you're ready for the next level. Remember what we practiced, Lenny. Go, go, boot. White shoe. Go, go, boot. Whoa, oh, boy. Yeah. Everybody. Lynn, I'm still waiting on that pedicure! <laughs> I'm not giving up the car keys that easily. Night, Lenny! You're gonna do great tomorrow! Night, Lincoln! Night, Lori! <laughs> Click. Got it! Never check your mirrors. Always comment on your driving instructor's weight. In America, we drive on the left side of the road. Ugh, there you are. Don't you need a ride to the comic book store? And lavender sheets. Don't forget. No, thanks. I think I'll wait for Lenny to get back from taking her driving test with her new license. Psh, she's not gonna pass. Now, get to washing. Actually, I'm pretty sure she will pass. No, she won't, because I made sure of it. Wait, what? Nothing. Uh, no you don't. So help me, Lori, I will shrink your favorite bobby sweater in the drawer if you don't tell me what you- Stop! Fine. <gasps> I might have sabotaged Lenny by giving her bad driving instructions while she slept, but it's just because if Lenny can drive, my room will never be clean and no one will ever need me for anything ever again. Are you crazy, woman? What if your bad driving instructions make Lenny crash? What if she gets hurt? I didn't think of that. We gotta get to the DMV. Oh, thank goodness she's okay. And maybe she passed. No, she did not. She did, however, drive on the wrong side of the road, neglected to check her mirrors, and commented on the driving instructor's weight. Well, that makes 14. Guess I'll have to drive a lawnmower forever. Look, Lenny, it wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. You worked so hard to help me pass. You even learned to speak Lenny. Which I still can't believe there's a country named after me. <sighs> I blew it. I was just thinking about all the fun places I would drive us to. The mall, the comic book store, the mall. I'm sorry I let you down. I can't take it anymore! It was my fault. I sabotaged your test. Sabotage? It's like she went and bought the dress she knew you wanted. <gasps> how could you? I'm really sorry, Lenny. But I know how to make it up to you. You'll buy me the dress? It was really nice of you to help Lenny practice for her next test. It's the least I could do. Is this the carpool lane? <gasps> this isn't a book. It's a diary. Luna's diary. You can't read this. Oh, and gosh, of course not. I'd never invade her privacy like that. Though, I do kind of wonder what big secret she was referring to. Big secret? Mm-hmm. 
But I know I can never tell my fam my big secret that I... Back from band fact is where I put my key. Ah! Uh, 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 scatter! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Phew! That was close. I know. Can you imagine how upset Luna would be if she knew we read her diary? Well, technically, you're the one who found it. Hey! Okay, okay, so we both read it, but that was an accident. And as long as we don't read any more of it, we're good. No matter what big secret she's keeping from the whole family. Right. Uh, gonna go jam with Sam. Be home soon. Hey, guys, I'm just gathering clothes for the wash. Got anything? <gasps> okay, we're in. Let's find that diary. Freeze, you bozos! What are you guys doing in here? Um, uh, collecting laundry? Laundry day was Tuesday. Spill it! Okay, fine. We were looking for Luna's diary. She wrote about a big secret, and we have to find out what it is. Guys, oh. that is so wrong. I can't even joke about it. Ah, uh, come on, toots. Drop the saint routine. I know you're itching to find out what dear old sis is hiding. It's gotta be juicy if she's yakking about it in a diary. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll help you guys look. I know all the good hiding places. Lincoln, try that desk drawer. <laughs> Luann! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I think I found it. Okay, okay, let me see where I left off. But I know I can never tell my fam my big secret that I skipped school last Friday to see a slasher flick at the mall. <gasps> Look at her, clearly putting on the goody two-shoes act to throw off mom and dad. I don't know, maybe she's turning over a new leaf. Guys, Luna's turning into a monster. Look at her latest diary entry. It's a little blurry. I only had five seconds. Luna and Roxy are planning a night of mayhem in Royal Woods. First, we build a town fountain with nacho cheese. Then, we free all the kids from the bedding zoo. Start some fights at the biker hangout. Then swipe the big letter R from the sign on Town Hall, baby. Trespassing? Stealing? Vandalizing a town landmark? Scandalous! This night could ruin Luna's whole future. We have to tell Mom and Dad. But Luna's gonna hate us for snitching and for reading her diary. Hmm, you both make good points. Maybe there's a way to stop Luna without all of that messiness. Too late! Oh no, the 5-0! Let's split before we get busted for trespassing! No, we have to save Luna! Oh, but then she'll know we read her diary! We have no choice. No! Don't throw your life away! Huh? What are you guys doing here? We, we read, read your diary. diary! You what? We're really sorry for invading your privacy, and we totes get it if you hate us forever. But we couldn't let you ruin your life. <laughs> Duh! I knew you dudes were snooping in my diary. That's why I made up this whole rebellious act. What? You know I'd never actually do any of that bad stuff, right? I was just trying to get you to fess up to reading my diary. Sorry we doubted you. It's cool, dudes. I'm sorry for messing with you to teach you a lesson. You really went all out. This security guard is so believable. Except he doesn't even look that scary. Oh, now he does. Dudes, I didn't hire him! Run! <laughs> Lori, help! Mom and Dad are gone, and I'm in charge, and I don't know how to do, like, anything. Sorry, Lenny, but I'm at practice. Can I call you back? No, please, Lori, just help me out this one time, and I'll never call you ever again. I promise. Well, that's a little extreme. <laughs> just tell me what's going on. <laughs> okay, guys, you're gonna split the money, and that's final. Works. Tomato juice will take care of that smell. No! Get away from my sister! That was, like, exhausting. Can we all go to sleep now? It's 4.30. Oh, my word! Sorry. Lenny, I can't talk. I'm in class. Lori, please! You've got this. Huh? Fine. But if I get a call from someone named Boo Boo Bear, I'm gonna need that back. <laughs> 
Seriously, dude, enough of your jokes! Oh, hey, Clyde! I got the pop torn! Like a guitar, dude! What in the name of Bing Crosby is going on in that house? Mr. Krause, I'm so sorry for all the noise. Were we bothering you? Dang tootin' you were. I was so distracted, I mowed over my begonias. Eight months down the drain. Sorry, we'll keep it down. There's just a lot going on over here. And... Lenny, help! The Wi-Fi's down and the movie went out right at the scariest, I mean funniest part. I'm fine if you want to switch gears. We could read or do a word jumble. Or... Can you help us, please? Lincoln, I have no idea how to... Up, up, up. Do a hard reset of the router by updating the LAN configuration. Once an IT guy, always an IT guy. What am I going to do with all these intestines? <laughs> What? I needed a little sand to practice my beach volleyball. Mr. Grouse, what do I do? Well, how the heck do I know? Figure it out yourself. I can't. I'm no good at this. Please? Come on. You remember when I styled you for the Veterans Day Parade? Uh, the ascot did add a touch of class. Thanks, Mr. Grouse. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Apologies, sibling. I created a new fruit punch that won't leave stains. Apparently, it is also quite combustible. <gasps> but see? No stains! Please don't let the house burn down. Do you think I could pull off a pinky ring, too? No, 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 no! Ah! Mr. Grouse, help! Sorry, it's time for my nap. This is an emergency! You can't just go home and take a nap! Who said anything about going home? <sighs> Luna turned my comedy club into a rock club. Do something. Lenny, do you know how to get blood? I mean, catch up off the ceiling. Lenny, turn the movie off. What do you mean you're empty? Wait, wait, don't go. Can I have fiddlesticks? <laughs> Fiona? Hey, Lenny Boo. We're having a self-care day. You want to come with? Guys, I can't. I'm in charge at home and everybody needs something and I have no idea how to do anything and I'm totally hopeless. Hopeless? Um, I'm sorry. This does not sound like the Lenny Loud that we know and love. Yeah, we've seen you kill it at work all the time. You're a total boss. Just tap into that confidence at home. All you need to do is think of your family as customers that don't pay. Oh, I'm gosh. Thanks, guys. I know what to do now. You're both, like, geniuses. Five for you, and five for you makes ten. Thanks for coming in today. Um, we live here. Sir, do not make me call security. And we are closed. Oh, Dad? Oh. Mom? I thought you were coming back tomorrow. Well, no one bothered to tell me that the Renaissance Fair was vegan and I was only packing meat. So we saddled up our steed. Vanzilla. And set out for our castle. The house. Which looks great, Lenny. There's only one hole in the floor. I knew no job would be too big for my employee of the month. Oh, thanks, Mom. Do I get more cake? How about a half-eaten mutton leg? Ah! Ooh, mutton leg. What? Napping makes me hungry. Oh, that's a good one. While I'm away, one of you will cover as temporary manager. Congratulations. <gasps> You want me to read the name of the new manager off your clipboard? Hmm. <gasps> oh, it's me? <laughs> this is like a dream come true! Just keep an eye on the store's calendar of events and my daily checklist and you'll do fine. I'll be leaving tomorrow, so you'll start then. Oh yeah, my God, good go, yeah. Lenny! Congratulations, Lenny. I know you're going to be a way better boss than Miss C. <laughs> 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 Lenny. Oh, sorry about the smell. I just dropped off Lynn's softball team. Phew, how was work? <sighs> Great. Miss Carmichael made me the temporary manager. Wow, you don't sound happy about it. No, I am. It's just Miguel and Fiona think Miss C is a zero fun drillster. I don't want them to feel that way about me. I want to do a good job and be a good friend. Is that even possible? Of course it is. Look, as long as you're getting the work done, you can be as fun a boss as you want. 
<gasps> wow, Lori, you know absolutely everything! <laughs> I literally do. Wait, what's a drillster? And I made it clear I refuse to date anyone wearing cargo shorts. Right? It's like, what do they need all those pockets for? What are they hiding? Wait, what is all this? Ham and scallion scones with lemon herb chev? My fave breakfast! Ice chai latte with organic coconut milk? Did we die and go to retail heaven? Good morning, fashion makers! Lenny, did you do all of this? Just a little something to help my fave friend employees to get through the day. Store. Funnager. What's a funnager? This gal right here! Like a manager, but fun. I'm gonna make sure work is totes amazing. Well, you're off to a great start. I'll say. <laughs> what? Nothing. Okay, two down, only 500 more sweaters to go. Well, at least we don't have that drillster here telling us what- Um, guys, you're doing it wrong! As Funnager, I think you should be having way more fun with a sweater folding contest. Winner gets this! <gasps> Is that a limited edition Chloris the Loris Sparkle plush? Miguel, you are going down! You're on! I've got nothing to lose! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Mannequins Fashion Show, featuring celeb stylist Miguel! And here's Tanya, all glammed up for some Royal Woods nightlife. She really dazzles in a fandango pink romper and kicky vinyl boots! Runway selfie! Get in here, Tanya! <gasps> and restock the fanny packs. Just check! Guys, that's everything on Miss C's list! Yeah, woo! This morning went by so fast. I can't believe it's already lunch. Ready to go, Lenny? Actually, you go without me. As furniture, I need to stay and hold down the fort. Well, if you're sure. Let's hurry, Fiona. We've only got a half hour, and I will not relive. Oh, burger shake incident. No, wait! You both worked so hard this morning, and you got everything done. So I insist you take a long lunch. That way, you can try the new dim sum place! Lenny, you are the best boss in the entire universe. I second that. And I third it. We know you won the Loris, Miguel. You don't have to rub it in. Gosh, somebody think we. Hey, Len. <coughs> oh, M. Gosh, Lori! I did what you said. I was a funager. This morning was a blast. We got all the work done, and Miguel and Fiona are still my friends. You really do know everything. <laughs> I literally do. Sorry, really gotta get in there. Fiona, what's the matter? Sorry to bother you guys, but I need help. We already got through those 25 questions. His answer to everyone was, I guess. There have to be other things you can talk about. I know. Tell him about that time you went to Canada. Guys love adventure. Are you okay? I thought I heard you talking to someone. Oh yeah, I was just talking to myself. It helps me pee. Uh, but it didn't work. I should go again. This time I'll try singing. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Lenny, guess who's seated at the table next to mine? Smoothie guy. And he looks so cute and sensitive. Move to another table immediately. Focus on burger guy. It didn't work with smoothie guy, remember? Don't get sucked back into that blender. Thanks, guys. Life is but a dream. You know what we need? Snacks! Don't get up! Your nails are wet. <gasps> Smoothie guy sent you some chili fries, and now burger guy is going over there to confront him? Whoops! This isn't the kitchen! <laughs> what? Now burger guy and Smoothie guy are hanging out without you? Lenny? Are you in here again? My brother really needs to pee! Sorry, I'll be right out. Just washing my hands. I'm really sorry, guys. I have to go. Oh, I guess your other friends are more important than my life. Fiona, it's not like that. Oh, and gosh, are you talking to your work friends right now? <coughs> Lenny, are you okay? <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'll clean it up. Don't bother. Mandy will help me. We won't take up any more of your time. Yeah, neither will we. Ooh, sparkly water! Ew! Who drinks pomelo flavor? Oh, good! The other guests are here! 
And I got your favorite drink. Oh, I didn't realize this was a party party. It's just the five of us. I can't wait for you guys to get to know each other. I thought we could play a getting to know you game. On each card is a fun fact about someone in this room. Your job is to guess who. Miguel, you can go first. I like pumpkin spice lattes. I'm gonna guess Mandy. <gasps> You're right. How'd you know? <laughs> If your name's Mandy, liking pumpkin spice lattes is pretty much your entire brand. Wow, you guys know each other so well already. Jackie, your turn. I have a winning smile. <laughs> well, that must be about Mandy. Actually, it was about Miguel. Hmm, I don't see it. I'm done with this game. Huh, which card says I'm a quitter? Uh, why don't we try something else? My pomelo! My bag! It was an accident! I'm sorry I'm not a part-time yoga instructor. Lenny, this was a terrible idea. Why did you want us to hang out with them? Well, believe me, we didn't want to hang out with you. Uh, we're leaving. Don't bother. We're leaving. <laughs> Guys, wait! We didn't get to eat the new best friend's cake I baked. Sorry, Lenny. And by the way, Miguel, everyone likes pumpkin spice. Except maybe stuck up part-time yoga instructors. <gasps> wow, poor Lenny. She's literally bending over backwards for her friends. Uh, uh. <gasps> Hello? Lenny, what the heck? Where are you? Oh, hey, how's the pop-up sale? Never mind that, you ditched us. Do you have another group of friends we don't know about? I'm sorry. I knew that no matter who I went to the sale with, I'd be upsetting someone. So I decided to stay home. I'll let you guys go. I don't want to ruin your day. Wow, Lenny missed her favorite sale because of us. Ugh, we are the worst. Oh, you're here. Well, good. There's something I have to say to you. Actually, there's something we have to say to you. No, me first. If you can't share the store, then you're going to have to march over to the room and grow me up. Wait, that's not right. Dang it, I was gonna practice this on the bus. Lenny, never mind that. We came to apologize. We've been acting like total jerks. I'm we're sorry we got so jealous. Even if the four of us aren't gonna be besties, we can at least try to get along. Cause the last thing any of us wants is to lose you as a friend. Aw, that's soup sweet. Thanks, you guys. Hey, do you wanna come in? I was just watching Best Friends Forever. I, I love, love that, that show. show. <laughs> Hey, do you have a sec? I usually go to Lori for advice, but this is about her, so... <sighs> I'm really worried about Lori going to Fairway. How am I supposed to survive without her? Ugh, you're such a chatterbox with Luann, but the one time I need you, you're silent? Fine, I'll talk to someone else. I mean, Lori and I do, like, everything together. We've been BFS since before I was even born. <sighs> If there's no Lori, who am I going to take magazine quizzes with? Or gossip with? What should I do? <laughs> you think I should fight Lori? <laughs> Ew, gross! <gasps> oh, I get it! I just need to show Lori that Fairway is actually terrible. And this campus tour is the perfect chance to do it. Lily, you're a genius! <laughs> This day hasn't gone at all like I thought it would. Lori wants to go to Fairway more than ever. <laughs> but what if Fairway didn't want Lori to go to it? Is that Lori Loud? Why, yes, it is her. I, I mean, she. I, I mean, I'm Lori Loud. Why don't you take the first swing? With pleasure. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, I mean, oh no. You just got a hole in one, Lori. <laughs> mm. ah. <laughs> 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 that is the most incredible hole in one I've ever seen. You will be a credit to our fine institution. <laughs> mm. Okay, I can't risk getting another hole in one. Keep your eye on the ball. Ah, whoops! Now, oh, your hands must be sweaty from the excitement of those hole-in-ones. Ah! Uh, 
Uh, uh, Laurie, are you feeling well? I think I suddenly have amnesia. I don't remember how to golf. Uh, are you sure? Here, take this. Perhaps it'll jog your memory. Oh, no, that's not food. Actually, I, I don't recognize any of this stuff. Wow, if I can't do golf, maybe I shouldn't come to golf school. Are you certain? Well, then I'll have to make the call to offer your scholarship to another student. Oh, I was really rooting for you, Lori. Wow, Lincoln, this footage is amazing. Sorry if you got a little banged up. It was worth it. Oh, Lenny! Look what I found in the bookstore. I was thinking we can set up a time to chat on the phone every night so we can still do our magazine quizzes together. Won't you be too busy for that? <laughs> no, of course not. And I talked Mom into getting us an unlimited texting plan so we can still have nonstop gossip sessions. Oh, cool. Lenny, is everything okay? <sighs> I messed up. I pretended to be you and I lost your golf scholarship. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? You know how important that scholarship is to me. I do, but I was worried that if you went to Fairway, we wouldn't be BFFs anymore. Lenny, I need you just as much as you need me. We'll always be close. I promise. Ugh, I totally blew it. Fairway is the perfect place for you. Don't worry, I'm getting your scholarship back. Wait! the meaning of this? Coach Nibbles, I have something to confess. The person who you saw playing golf earlier wasn't Lori. What? It was me, her sister Lenny. I was worried about Lori going away next year. So I dressed up like her and pretended to be awful so Fairway wouldn't want her. But now I know that just because we'll be far apart in distance doesn't mean we won't be close. I'm sorry for what I did. Can my sister still have her scholarship? So, Lori, do you still know how to use this? For sure. Well done! Go, Lori! We'll see you next fall, loud. Now, young lady, I don't blame you. When my sister was off to university, I popped the tires on her car in the hopes it might stop her from leaving. But those years apart only made us closer. Well, I should give her a call. Uh, let me just... <laughs> hey, Lenny, how was work? <laughs> Terrible! What happened? I thought things were going great at the store. They were! Until this afternoon! Your receipt's in the bag, along with some samples of our new scent. Sugar Cookie Sunshine. That skirt would look great on you. And it also makes a cute poncho. <gasps> you just changed my life! <clears throat> uh, Lenny? Hi, Mrs. Carmichael. How's the monthly inventory going? Not great. Several scarves have gone missing. Can you come with me? Are we going on a scavenger hunt? <laughs> there was no scavenger hunt! She thinks I stole the scarves! What? Why would she think that? They were all from my department, and they all went missing in the month that I've worked there. So she said she had to let me go. And I said, go where? And she said, that means you're fired! <laughs> that is so unfair. Lenny would never steal anything. This is worse than the time Crazy 8 was falsely accused of stacking the deck. If only there were someone who could help clear Lenny's name. You mean like us? Stop right there, Fiona! <coughs> Open the trunk! What? Why? I I'm not doing that. I think you better. Okay, you caught me. <sighs> Mrs. Carmichael, I think you'll find this bag contains at least one blue dress? Huh? Yep. I bought this at Sater's after my shift. Sorry, Mrs. C. I know we're not supposed to shop at our competitors, but it was such a good deal. Well, I can't say that I approve. Oh, wow, they are giving this away. Do they have it in a 12? <clears throat> uh, Fiona, we're really sorry for accusing you. These things sometimes happen in detective work. You're bound to play a few bad hands before you win the jackpot. Whatever, I'm leaving now. Well, ma'am, we've made a mistake. Don't worry, we're not giving up until we find the real shoplifter. It would really
really help if we could have access to your private employee files and customer mailing lists. <sighs> Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for Lenny, but I don't need two kids in costumes disrupting my store. Now, please, just stay out. Give us another chance. Ace and Jack can't rest until they've dealt out some justice. I feel terrible, Clyde. We failed Lenny and now she'll never get her job back. I just don't know how we got it so wrong. Is it possible reading comic books doesn't make you a good detective? I guess it's possible. Maybe we really are just two kids in costumes. You're right. Ow, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> oh, hey you guys, don't mind me. I'm just looking for stuff to fold. I really miss it. Oh, can I fold this? You can have it. I'm done wearing capes. Well, it doesn't have to be a cape. You could wear it as a scarf too. Wait, did you just say scarf? You're right. What was I thinking? Wrong season, Lenny. How about a beach cover-up? No, no, scarf. Clyde, that's it. If a cape can be a scarf, then a scarf can be a cape. I think I know who the culprit is. So do I. Lenny, can I have that back? We have a crime to solve. At the beach? So here's my hideout. Wait! Let me just put in the password. Beep, boop, beep, boop. <gasps> the scarves! Mom! They're superhero capes. Oh, wow. I had it all wrong. Thank you, boys. No problem, ma'am. I guess you could say justice was in the cards. <sighs> Cute top. And did you know you can also wear it as a pencil skirt? Oh, Lenny, I can't apologize enough for accusing you of stealing those scarves. Is there any way I can make it up to you? Hmm. Are there any sweaters I can fold? 